Good morning. I thought I would start a little weekly vlog. Molly, come here, babe. Come here. Mama's, come and get your outfit on. Because I've got some fun things going on this week. And this morning is such a spooky morning, isn't it, Momos? Look, I've even bought you a water. I'm so organised. Um, so it's literally so... Is that twisted or are you a little chunky girl? We've just come to the woods to have a spooky Halloween morning walk. It's literally Halloween, the day that I'm starting this vlog. Um, and I've brought Molly to my favourite wood. So should I put my headphones on first and then put my head up? Gorgeous. Can you see the fog? You ready for a spooky walk, Molly? Molly, walk nicely, babe. And you might be thinking, you know, why are you taking your makeup off in the middle of the day? Well, I have two campaigns to film today. Um, and I have to start with a bare face with both of them. So I filmed one. Um, I made use of the makeup so I filmed some outfit videos and stuff like that, some other videos that I could film with a full face of makeup and now I'm taking it all off again to film my second campaign which is so annoying but I'm not complaining, so grateful to be booked and busy. I always try and remind myself how lucky I am and I try to never like complain about anything really. And obviously it's absolutely human nature to get annoyed by little things or not like doing certain tasks but for example when we moved into this house i've never had a dishwasher before ever in my life and when we bought this house i was so excited to have a dishwasher and the house came with a dishwasher which was so exciting we didn't have to buy one so lucky i was so excited to have a dishwasher because it just felt really like grown up and like luxurious to have a dishwasher i don't know and I'd say within about six to eight months of living in this house, I caught myself going, oh, I hate emptying the dishwasher. It's so annoying. It hurts my back, like leaning over. And I kept saying to myself, oh, I hate emptying the dishwasher. It really hurts my back. And then one day I caught myself complaining about it. And I was like, oh my God, shut up. How are you even saying that? And now when I empty the dishwasher, I'm not even joking, but I stand over the dishwasher and I say, I'm so grateful for my dishwasher. I'm so grateful for my house. I'm so grateful for the plates that I have that I'm putting away. I'm so grateful for my cutlery. I'm so grateful that I have food to put on the plates to make the plates dirty in the first place. And that is something that I've like kind of incorporated into loads of different areas of my life. I'm not feeling working out for the day. I remind myself like, oh, I'm so lucky to be able-bodied and able to do this. I'm so lucky to have a gym at home. I'm so lucky to have the time to work out. I'm just, there are so many things to be grateful for and it's so easy to complain and moan, but it's also so easy to remind yourself how lucky you are. Yeah, when I'm having these like stressful days with work or really hectic days with work and I find myself kind of complaining, I always try and remind myself like, you are so lucky. To have a job and so many people would love to switch positions with me and i always just try and remind myself of that okay, that is my face clean and prepped ready for <laughs> campaign number two well technically campaign number two and three these fenty skin um lip oils so good this is the watermelon one and it makes your lips look so like glossy but it also smells delicious i have to schedule in like an hour a day to tidy up all of this and i film in this guest bedroom too so it's literally chaos. I'm just setting up my background for the video. The way I ran for the Black Friday deals on Amazon is insane. Favorite products in the whole world. I've never shown you this corner of the room. This is in one of our guest rooms. And I had this piece of artwork of Julie Andrews custom done by an incredible artist such a gorgeous job i love the colors of it as well and then i just have my little fish jug i have this little tray with my perfumes and then i've kind of turned these into my pr drawers the aim for this room like eventually is to have this entire wall as like a built-in with lots of storage space a dressing table in the middle just loads and loads of space um but that's i've just tried to tidy up a little bit because my house literally looked like an explosion had gone off inside of it Definitely not a lot of fun um, when your house gets to that point, but I'm going to go sit downstairs and edit now because it is half past three and I have a deadline of 5pm to get that footage edited and sent over to the team for approval. Um, very tight deadlines I'm working with at the moment. The thing about this industry is that you always have either like a month's notice or you have like 
two days notice like deadlines can be insane well, let's see what this is it's a little pr package from free soul i actually love um this brand free soul i love all of their greens and stuff like that this is their hydrate package citrus flavored electrolyte blend sounds nice they've given me a discount code if i wanted to share about it this isn't an ad they just give you a discount code sometimes in case you like talk about it if you like it um victoria underwood for 10 percent off at checkout this is cute okay let me show you they've sent this cute little bag it's actually so handy beach bag waterproof beach bag i don't have anything like that and sometimes when i take chuck swimming and i've got all of his like wet swimming bits that's gross in the bottom of the bag i always think like mold's gonna grow or something from the dam the water bottle and sent a vitamin c um spf from l'oreal some yellow socks i've never owned a pair of yellow socks in my life and some electrolytes i actually love electrolytes a lot gluten free zero sugar dairy free 100 ml of water okay that's good to go i guess individual packets as well which is handy I put it in here should i do a glass i forget how you open these oh a pull Mmm. That's nice. That's really nice. I might give Lou a few of these to take to um work because she's always dehydrated. She always comes home from work with a headache. The lady works in NHS, she works in a doctor's surgery and they are the most unhealthy group of people you will ever encounter. I'm gonna do a quick tidy before I start editing for the afternoon. morning i thought i would show you what i'm doing today and what a bit of a work day in my life looks like so i woke up at seven did my workout got ready replied to some emails actually did a little tiktok live stream um and then i've been filming for the past couple of hours hello they pick me up please um so i'm just filming i think i've got four or five outfits to film this morning um so i'm all set up i've just been debobbling a coat before i film um how many have i got left to do i think i've got two left to do uh is that right yeah i've got two left so i'm gonna get those done and then i need to film a campaign and then when lou gets home i need to reshoot a clip for another campaign and send that clip for approval um just a singular clip and i'm gonna retake the I'm just setting up now to film my next campaign. I need to buy myself another tripod because this one is not doing too well at all. It's funny because you have to wait until about midday. I think it's about, yeah, it's half past 11 now. Um, I've got a lot done today to say it's only half past 11. I've had a very productive morning. Um, but the, the brightness only just starts coming in. But the sky, I wish I could show you out this window. 25% off. And these are some of my favourite blushes in the whole world. Hello. I've had such a long day today. It has been unreal. I'm packing my bag because I'm going to the farmhouse tomorrow. I'm going to go for a reformer Pilates class. I've never done it before. And um, I'm going to work from there for a few hours. It's just such a nice, relaxed, like, working environment. But obviously, I don't want makeup on for my pilates class because for some reason working out in makeup just gives me the biggest like you know what i mean so i'm just popping all of my skincare bits out for the morning so they're lined up for me and i'm just kind of packing like my must-have makeup should i put this light on oh is that a bit bright is that a bit better i think so so i'm just gonna pop in here a few different little bits and bobs concealer brush bronzer brush Blusher brush, stick them all in there. 
to take my Merit um, contour stick. This is so good. Genuinely so good. I'm taking my Arborian CC cream. You only need like half a pea's worth on your whole face and it just covers up your redness a little bit because that's something I struggle with. My brows I will do before I get there because they're important to me. And I think that is everything I could possibly need. This is at 8.15. I live about 30 minutes away but with Oxford traffic you truly never know what you're going to get. Hello, um, I've just got back in the car. I've bought the most gorgeous hydrangeas. Um, they're like literally stunning, bright blue. Um, decent price to be honest. And the girl was saying that they'll dry down really, um, really nice. But yeah, but it's a nice productive day. It's nice to be around people working, like other people working. It feels like just really nice to be around. Um, and a little bird was like walking around the floor. So, oh my god, so cute. Blue hydrangeas are um, a little bit more difficult to get because your soil has to be a certain, is it alkaline level or something like that? Okay, no, I think they are going to need to be cut down. Just look silly, don't it like that? I wish these were like... You can't cut that for like anything. Bloody hell. This is a nice angle. Um, I'm just going to put a hair mask in because my hair needs washing this evening. Actually dying as well. It grows so fast at the minute. Oh my god, I look like I'm going grey. But I'm just gonna pop some rosemary oil on my scalp. This is from the Serenity Lab, and then I'm using the Philip Kingsley Bond Builder on the rest of my hair. But I just need to jump in the shower and wet my hair first. It smells so good. This is honestly one of my favourite hair masks, along with the elasticizer. I haven't used the elasticizer for a while, I probably should. After this morning doing um, Reformer Pilates, I'm worried that's gonna become an addiction. I was kind of enjoying not having to pay for a gym membership now that we've got the gym in the garage. Um, and I spent enough money turning the garage into a gym, so I'm like, I need to utilize that and not be spending money on gym classes. Um, but it was, it was so good and it was so much fun. It was hard. I'm gonna leave this in my hair until about four o'clock and then rinse it out and I'm gonna get some editing done. Hello. Um, I haven't actually said hello so properly. Here's Harry. <laughs> and Bentley's asleep on the bed too. Um, but I'm just getting ready for dinner. I've very kindly been invited to Six by Nico. I've worked with them quite a few times this year. Um, and they've invited me and Lou down. And I just got these pajamas. They're literally the cutest pajamas. I've got bows on the sleeves. You listening? And bows everywhere. They're so cute. But yeah, it's messy. Fucking hell, his whole bum's out. My God, his whole bum hole is in the street. Oh dear. Is that for um, fireworks? Oh, 
Black Cross is the one I'm most looking forward to. Oh, oh, yeah, it's oh, lovely. So really nice. I think you go like That's not you, okay? It's not fishy? What is that? And cod isn't fishing. Is that what you get at the chip shop? Yeah. Okay. This looks really good. <laughs> had such a day I don't even want to tell you about it it's not even anything that deep but you know those days that just wind you up so bad that has been my day today honestly so it's and I'm due on my period I'm actually due on my period today um and I have PMDD and just a little bit about PMDD it's kind of like PMS but like insane PMS and it's also the wrong way around so like you feel really bad before your period and then when you get your period you feel better um, I don't know why I thought I was gonna have a good day today when I'm literally due on my period today which is the day I'm due on and the day before I'm due on that is my worst day for my mental health and my god does PMDD affect your mental health it affects it so bad Everything I have touched today has gone to shit. Everything I've tried to do has gone to shit. Cheering myself up because I got a new perfume. I'm using floral marshmallow. These are genuinely delicious. So good. But I'm just about to head out and get Lou from work because we're gonna go into town and get lunch and do a bit of shopping. Because honestly, I need some form of therapy and if that's retail therapy, I'll take it. These are cute. Oh yeah, they're nice. And these look these little um speckledy um Christmas trees. They're nice, those salt and pepper yeah, things. Just real nice. Real That's nice. Huge, so I know, but twenty just, pounds for a nice set. I'm just literally looking at those. Really nice. I mean, are they gonna be thin enough to go in? I'd say so, they just look regular. You know the candle. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Yeah. 40 pence? That's actually basically free. Okay, we'll get those to go in the thing. Oh, that's nice. Chocolate. No one knows how much this means to me. You want some? Oh my god. Sam, there's no nail polish, and I'm using it. Mm -hmm. 